So my name is Evelyn Lindner. I'm the one who started the Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network or Fellowship. Mm, and uh, we have now our 13th workshop on transforming humiliation and violent conflict at Columbia University Teachers College. Our workshops and our conferences are not normal conferences. What I like most about this conference is the fact that people are committed to building growth-fostering relationships throughout the conference, which means engaging others in a way that adds energy and excitement and empowerment, that helps them feel connected and gain a sense of knowledge about themselves and others so they can take action in the world. And this is the great treasure for me because where else do we have that kind of um, joint, dignifying, mutually beneficial relationship in our lives that fills us with the sort of exuberance we need to take action, to work for dignity with others? I think one of the things I'm committed to and what inspires me about this work is I see building dignity as a relational activity that we need everybody's help that we all can work together to create a world that changes the social climate. Well, I think the form of the conference is excellent to bring out dialogue amongst everyone and uh, we so need this kind of listening, this kind of exchange the people here are from really many, many places in the world and many different angles of society. And uh, not all, but we never know exactly who's here. And so the discovery of that is very important. And the form, if you come here from here, you see there's a very definite form that gets us to meet each other, that gets us to, provokes new ways of, uh, for us to talk amongst ourselves in the dignologues, in the ways we, we formulate questions together and then we try to pursue them. So it's very rare to have these multidisciplinary kinds of talks. I think the form breaks through a lot of boundaries that we have in the mm, ways we talk professionally or in our little communities. What is our task is to, to, to learn how to connect, how to build real relationships from me to you and trust relationships. And this is what we, this is the main aim of our conferences. And many people who come for the first time, they think, oh, I want to be a keynote speaker. And then we have to explain we do not have speakers and um, we do not wish to uh, have this that an expert is talking down to an audience who has paid, perhaps paid money to listen to the speaker. And then at the end come questions and answers. This is a very top-down format. And then very often the speaker is a helicopter speaker. He comes or she comes one minute before and leaves one minute after. And so uh, this is very often the format of, of, of conferences and it's very disconnecting. So what we try is to invite everybody to stay throughout the two days or three days, we have also longer conferences, to stay and the main thing is to create a new form of relationships. It's not the family, it's not the friendship kind of relationship, it's more. It includes everything. It includes that we are human beings, fellow human beings on one planet and we are together in this. It's like being together on Titanic. You know, you really have to connect then when you want the Titanic not to go down. I think the most important thing about this conference is that it is a safe space for people to put away their specialized knowledge and their uh, authority about something and really connect to themselves and uh, express how they think the world could be more dignified and how we do that uh, in different formats but especially um, in a very interesting way um, so people really 
are, uh, the conference is really, really interactive, so people really um, discuss the subject and together and um, make their own conclusions and you feel really part of something that you created without this uh, feeling of having to know anything and being so critical. So you are a critic, but you also um, want to pass a good message to the world. And this is, I think, the most important thing about it. And I think the world should work more like this conference. It's not uh, an event, a stand-alone event. It's more part of a long-term path that our community prepares and creates. It's just one spot, one moment in, in a, a kind of mission, you could say, or vision of creating a global dignity community. Uh, from all continents, we have people here from Brazil, we have people here from Somaliland, from Australia. Um, so it's a global community. Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies is a global community uh, of people who, academics and practitioners, who wish to bring more dignity into the world. That I've been to this conference for the last, since 2009, I would say that. So one thing that Kiev appealing or attracting to me or drawing to the energy to this conference is that most of the conference that I've been is very, very different. So different in the sense that this conference has more uh, human interactions, social interactions, uh, what I call it, you know, um, relational building a kind of conference, you know. Uh, people know just not only you, you meet and discuss something that you want to discuss, it's also like personal enrichment the best thing about this conference is the group of people who have assembled here. Um, it is not the usual thing these days in the worlds of ideas, in the world of activism, uh, in the worlds of social change to find so many people who have human dignity as really the baseline of their value system that informs what they do and how they interact with other people. So it, it's not only the, the subject matter but it, it's the chemistry of the kind of people who are drawn to this, uh, the way we interact with each other, the way we teach and learn from each other, uh, and also just the fact that it's fun. Um, so all in all, it's, it's one of the gatherings that I look forward to uh, most of all, of all the different things I do uh, in terms of going to conferences and workshops and seminars. It brings together an extraordinary group of people from all over the world who share a common conviction that uh, that humiliation is, a, is the emotional um, basis for a lot of the destructive conflicts in the world, but we bring it to a personal level. So I think what I love is that it gives us uh, a chance to both explore research uh, and the contributions of scholars as well as practitioners at different levels. And we see what each of us has to bring to this in a way that, that a regular conference would never do. So there's a dynamic quality that I love. We do co-create the conference as it develops and the structure really lends itself to, to that and I feel really privileged to have been a part of the, the, the planning uh, group for, the, for these conferences because it, it gives me a, uh, a way of, of essentially relating to this uh, at a time in our lives when it's needed not now more than perhaps ever uh, that the, the kinds of values that we all share have a way of being expressed and reinforced and deepened uh, through our, our connection with one another. When we think about globalization, we, we kind of spread uh, out the, the idea of, of, uh, uh, of sharing uh, what the, the best of humanity. Uh, however, the, the best of the the best of humanity is in us because we're we are a global community meeting, toge meeting together uh, or, uh, and then sharing ideas coming from different experiences, different background and, and different intellectual, uh, intellectual approach and, and, and cut to it. Uh, so the most important thing, the most important takeaway from this conference uh, is, uh, is the relationship we foster, the relationship we, uh, we, uh, we have uh, developed in such a short time. Uh, 
which is a reflection of uh, of what we want to achieve and what we want to see in the world. So uh, that is a, the biggest achievement and, and what basically draws me to these kind of gatherings. Well, I think people practice what they preach. Um, it's not just in words, but in actions and in the ways how people conduct themselves. Everyone is given a voice uh, and feels um, that you have a place. Uh, whether you have many things to say or nothing to say or um, just want to um, be here and participate. So I think it's um, the way um, is conducted exemplifies how dignity may be magnified in the world. Uh, the mindful way of speaking, presenting, talking, interacting, I think this is how more dignified way of I mean, talking to the people or in the conference setting room so that uh, my uh, speaking, my words doesn't harm or hurt someone listener or also listener doesn't feel humiliated, intimidated, so which is why so appreciative way of when appreciating the person you're talking to also you also appreciate it by, this, by the listeners also these are the beautiful things that I'm sure everyone learns from this conference for sure. I've been coming to this conference for eight or nine years and it's one of the most remarkable that I've ever attended and it's one of those dates that I put on my calendar immediately when I find out the days of the next year's one. Uh, I'm a law professor, I was a lawyer for many years and my area is mental disability law and criminal law so I go to conferences of lawyers, of psychologists, of criminologists, of many many different professional groups but there is nothing I go to that means as much to me as this conference does. Bringing together people from so many different backgrounds, so many different professions, so many different continents, so many different races, religions, gender preferences, you name it, and everybody working collegially together. Everybody truly does leave their ego at the door. Everybody is here to be cooperative, to be collaborative, and to work to the same end. How can we bring more dignity to the world and how can we begin in our own personal ways and professional ways to deal with the way that so many institutions and individuals in the world shame and humiliate others. The best thing about this, some people might say, is networking. I come here to network, to meet new people, to see who could I, I could work with, but I think that's um, a, a superficial way and if you come more often you begin to really get relationships with people and look forward to seeing them again and listening in a way that illuminates your thinking not just, you know, I took some notes, I got some good lines but in a deep, deeply moving and profound way. Well, you know what was different about this conference uh, and within our group is I think this sense of relational resilience, resilience in whatever was happening. What I saw is people picking up responsibility, picking up leadership individually, stepping in when we needed someone to fill in. That's the kind of a spirit I'd like to see that we all have a sense of universal responsibility about what's happening in the world and that we're willing to step up and step out to work in support of positive change, creating this shared path to dignity and that is built through enhancing and strengthening our own resilience to move forward even though there may be great obstacles and hardships along the way. Working together we can have the resilience to take action and move the world that much closer to the type of world that dignifies the lives of all people and the planet.